Hello, hello, good evening. How are you, William? Hello, good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you tonight? Hi. Hi, William. Happy, happy teacher. I want, I want raining. It is, it is raining? Yes. And look at you here, it's hot. Yeah. Pretty hot. How do you say insupportable? Yeah, it is terrible. I mean, it's a. Uh, 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 it's terrible. Okay. Uh, weather hot. Yeah, and I mean. Uh, Teacher, este, the word well, you are looking for is unbearable. On unbearable. I'm gonna text it for you, okay? Cuando sería mi refuerzo, teacher? Let me see. I am letting everybody know the day it happens. A todos estoy avisando el día que corresponde. Let's see. Your William. It says Thursday, July the 22nd. Ahora. Ahora? Yeah. yeah. Today. Tonight. Tonight. Esta noche, tonight. Yes. Excellent. You're ready? That's good. It's an excellent idea. Okay, that's great. That's great. Unbearable. Unbearable, uh, unbearable. Unbearable, however. The weather, the weather is unbearable. The weather is unbearable. Yep. Okay. okay. I always drink coffee, teacher. Uh, right now, just water. I just Did had that? my cup of coffee before. Ya tomé mi café un, a few minutes ago. I will be happy drink coffee. Drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, drinking coffee is cool. I like it. But you have to be careful not to drink too much. Tenemos que tener cuidado, no demasiado. <laughs> this temptation. Yeah. Let me text everybody. How do you say calmante? Well, uh, pain reliever. Pain reliever. 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 Well, it's time. Let's hope everybody starts connecting soon because right now there's just you and Elvia. Welcome back, Elvia. Good night, teacher. So sorry for your loss. Lamentamos su pérdida. Okay. Well, thank you very much, William. Nice talking to you as usual. You're welcome, teacher. Sorry, Elvia. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? I... Not that good. Not no. that good. I, I understand. I understand. And tell me, did you go to work today? I I work. You work today. Okay, okay. Well, remember, you can check out the videos of the previous classes in the platform. Recuerden que puede realizar las clases anteriores en el plataforma, ¿ok? Hoy And, día muy difícil. I understand, I understand, Elvia. It's never easy, it's never easy. But we have to continue. I mean, that's the only thing it's left for us is to continue struggling. 
That's life, that's life. But at least here you are going to get distracted a little bit. Okay. Let's see, I'm just checking something, little something. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Well, welcome back to the class, Sylvia. Nice having you here. Okay. And relax. It's going to be quiet Thank for you today. It's going to be calm. Let's see who else is around. Marta. Hello, Marta. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Marta. How's everything? It's a normal day. Teacher, uh, nothing special. Oh, all okay. Um, how, how about your hands, teacher? How do you feel? Uh, well, you know, today I have therapy. I went to therapy. Okay. Is this hurt? Yeah, it hurts. And the problem is that after the therapy, I fell. Luego me caí. Oh my God. And I hit Teacher, right be here. careful. <laughs> and I hit right here. Me golpeé cabal esto. So oh. it's a little bit uncomfortable right now. Un poquito incómodo. But not much. I mean, no big deal, I hope. Esperemos que no. Okay, teacher. No big problem. Be careful. <laughs> yes, I will, I will, I will. And tell me, what did you do today? What time did you finish working this day? Today, I uh, finished my work around the 5.50. Oh, really? At 5.50? Yes, yes. Okay, Early. what did you do after that? Did you Early. have dinner already? Yes, I am dinner at uh, 6 p.m. Okay, and tell me, what did you have for dinner tonight? I eat uh, pupusas. Oh, really? Yes. You have pupusas for dinner? Yes. Mm. <laughs> delicious, teacher. Del delicious. Well, you know, you know. Let me see. Let <laughs> me just check something. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's good. So you have pupusas. What's your favorite one? Uh, all all type pupusas, teacher. Do you remember? All food oh. for me is okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as it's full, it's okay for you. Yes. <laughs> that's, well, that's nice. I mean, you enjoy it, that's cool. Yes, teacher. The good thing is that you enjoy food. That's nice. Okay, yes, well, welcome to the class, Marta. Thank nice you, teacher. You. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Daniel, hello, Daniel. How are you, mister? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm just great, just great. What about you? How's everything? Uh, today was a good day. I, well, the day was a little, a uh, little relaxed and uh, one client told me that they have approved the offer. So oh. we, uh, in some days, I probably the other week, we will start uh, working in that offer. Okay, next week. Next week next week all right that's cool congratulations excellent thanks so hey let's see is that a lakers jersey ah uh, yeah oh cool man that's <laughs> nice that's nice that's nice so do you like playing basketball um, yeah but i'm not like really really good but when i was at school i was in the team Oh, really? Well, then you are a little bit good if you were in the team. 
If you made the team at school, I remember I remember playing basketball like a lot when I was at the university. Oh yeah. When I was at the university, at the university, I don't play. I, I didn't. Don't. I didn't. I, no, in my case, yes, we do. We we used to play like two with my friends, with the team. We used to play like two or three different tournaments at the same time. We used to play at the university oh. and we used to play some other places. It was cool. I mean, I was young at that time. You are a four. Yeah, because that is a lot of exercise. Oh, yeah, yeah, you really sweat playing b ball. You sweat a lot. Yeah, yeah, now you know. Now I play, but with the with the remote control, I play oh. with the cell phone and the computer. Okay, well, yeah. welcome. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. Shanita, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. And you? Here, just here, you know, same old story. What about you? Well, well, I'm drinking coffee because today is like yesterday, very warm. Yeah, no, it's and, hot. It's and, hot. And I, I believe that maybe raining at night. It will rain. It will rain. It will rain. Or you can say it like this. It should probably rain. Okay, it should be prob probably it, rain. It should, it should probably rain. It should probably rain. Rain. Okay, I, I believe the, it. That's the I very, hope. very emphasize the, the, the probability because the correct the correct way is to say it should rain tonight. Lo más correcto okay. sería, it should rain tonight. But some people will say, oh, it should probably rain. Actually, that's a double probability. Grammatically, it's not correct, but some people speak like that. Okay, what is grammatical correct? It should rain or it will rain tonight. Okay. Remember that when we use should, we are expressing a probability. probability. You can even say it could rain tonight. Okay. When you say could, remember a the classes last week? Could use for future possibilities, right? Yeah. It could rain tonight. But we don't know, we don't know. Let's hope so because, man, I am cooking here at home. I mean, I'm cooking myself. Yes, I prefer West in this side. <laughs> in yeah, the Yeah, I can tell. I mean, you got a beautiful one. You know what's worse? The worst thing we have is Carlos here. Carlos is smiling whenever we say it's hot because where he lives is fresh all oh. the time. Look at him, he's laughing. He's like, yeah, yeah, so far you guys, he says. I with, am uh, cold. Uh, a shirt with, uh, how do you say manga larga? Long sleeve, oh, nice. Long sleeve. Long, <laughs> a long. And me, this shirt because it's warm. Yeah, it's terrible. A long sleeve shirt. Yeah. He's with a long sleeve shirt. You know, later on, he will get a sweater or a jacket. Yes. He and we're going to be sweater. like this. Oh. <laughs> and we're going to be like this. <laughs> all, 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 all of them in this form. Yeah. And he. Yeah. Like that. He's going to be oh. with a mug. He's going to be with a mug. Do you know what is a mug? No, I, I don't know. Maybe. Do you have your cup right there? That type of cup is a mug. That's Why? a mug. That's the name of it. Así se llama. Mug. La mug. usamos para el café, las grandecitas, aún con tapadera, todos ah, son mugs. Okay. Okay. okay how, well. how do you write, teacher? How do you write? Please. Look in the shop. Ah, yeah. I, the I can see. I can see. Mug. Okay, thank you, teacher. But in England, you know, in England, mugging, it's a uh, asaltar. Oh, <laughs> be careful with the word. 
yeah, mugging the verb as a verb means as a verb. Okay, well, thank you, Janita. Welcome to the class. Thank you, to the teacher. Let's see, Nicolas, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening, everybody. How are you? Uh, we are just fine here waiting for you. No rain tonight, right? <laughs> no, in this, in this moment, no rain in my colony. Yeah, yesterday I, it was raining a lot for, for you because here where I live, man, uh, it's, it was terrible. So hot all night long. Ah, yes. Yes. I mean, Ye yesterday, it, the, the rain is stronger. Is was, it's good? Was, was, was stronger. Was okay. strong. Was strong. I was strong. Okay. Yeah. The rain. Uh, well, was but strong. today, today you are home. No problems with connection, right? No. In in this moment, no, no. I I don't I don't have problem with connection. Is very good. Perfect. And perfect. well, yes. yes. Oh, in this moment, I practice uh, the, the class with you and oh. my partners. That's excellent. That's excellent. Welcome to the class, Nicolas. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Susana, I just saw you around. Where are you? Susana was around. Well, let's see. Hey, Maria Alejandra, welcome back. That's Maria Alejandra. That's <laughs> the one I know. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. You? Just fine. Just great. Just great. Tell me, <laughs> how was your day? Um, I have a nice day. I don't work today because it's my day off. Um, only so uh, my mother and my father um, visited uh, my grandmother. Okay, the <laughs> usual stuff for your day off. Yes, only that. Um, okay, that's nice. That's <laughs> nice, that's nice. Okay, so what time did you get home? Did you hit traffic? No, I don't encounter. I found the traffic. Uh, I didn't hit traffic. I didn't hit traffic. Maybe I arrived at six. At six? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. That's nice. That's nice. So you're ready for the class? Yes, I did my homework. Ex <laughs> oh, that's great. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> And I'll be yes. checking the platform again, okay? Uh, Every day okay. I check the platform to see who's <laughs> working and who isn't. I work today in the platform. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Walter. How's everything? Excuse me? How's everything? Everything good? Yeah, teacher. I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. So tell me, how was your day? Oh, and day, uh, a lot of work. A lot of work? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I feel, uh, my person, I feel I had a... Uh, how do you say toss? Cough. Tough. No, like okay. this. Look. Cough. Cough. <clears throat> cough. Okay. Uh, Ooh, a lot of that's cough. Bad. Yes, teacher. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Yes. You should drink uh, something for that. I bring medicine. Okay, that's cool. So what are you taking, pills or syrup? Excuse me? What are you taking, pills or syrup? Pastilla uh, or liquido, jarabe. Jarabe. 
Serum. Serum. Ah, ok. Sí. <coughs> no. We also call syrup. También le decimos syrup. Hay que le ponemos a las uh, hotcakes. That's also syrup. Ah, ok. I don't know. Um, it calls a uh, uh, very muy rápido me vuelta a dar tos. No entiendo. Well, you know, Hace poco me acabo de curar y me vuelvo. <coughs> sometimes the weather, sometimes there are viruses. I mean, yeah. that happens. Believe me, that happens a lot. Well, to me, in my case, I get I get it frequently because of my job. I work all day speaking, so I get it. Well, ah, welcome okay. to the class, Walter. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. <coughs> so, Carlos, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, teacher, but today I suffering about the uh, weather because today in the fall day uh, was uh, really, really hot. Um, but actually, it's better. It, it's more or less fresh. So, okay. yeah, it's fresh now. Oh, come on! Don't tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, right, right now here it's terrible. I mean, it's hot. I am. I was. I mean, I was sweating just sitting down in my living room. Yeah. I was sitting down but, in the living room and I was sweating. I I, I see I see it. <laughs> Let's I, hope I tonight it rains because man, it's terrible. Yeah. And the worst thing is that I never I never check the 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 world the water forecast. Do you know what is the water forecast? Yes, but actually I don't. I don't, I can check the, the weather, but um, this this week, uh, the last week, uh, was uh, uh, really hot because in the dawn, in for you, don't rain, don't rain. It didn't rain. Didn't rain, didn't rain, yeah, didn't rain. Yeah. Forecast for the rest of you guys, that's the pronóstico. So we say the weather forecast is el pronóstico del tiempo. Okay, let's see. Microsoft says that it's uh, cloudy tonight and the and that it's 28 degrees. Celsius. Wow, 28. 28 is not fresh at all. Yes, it's really hot. Too. It's hot. I mean, for me, it's hot, 28. It's fresh Sometimes... in San... It's fresh in San Miguel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <It depends. laughs> yeah, you know, me for sleeping, I... I turned on the air conditioner and I set it like in 19 or 17. So I can so I can fall asleep. Otherwise, man, it's terrible. Well, welcome to the class, Carlos. Nice Thank having you, you here. Thank uh, you. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Let's see who else is around. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. How what about you? Well, you know, here, same old story. I was telling, let me see who I was telling who. Oh, I was telling Marta. I fell down on my hand today. So it hurts. Really? Yeah. I slipped. I slipped. Hold on. Hold on. Because I want to text this word to everybody. I slipped slip yeah i slipped as we say and i fell well not completely but i put i support myself with this hand exactly here 
So, uh, it hurts. Is, uh, how do you say, doloroso, painful? Painful. 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 Yeah, it is painful and also I I make a, I made a little cut on my this is funny. I made a little cut on my butt. Oh really? Do you drink something for your painful? No, because the the, the pills I got for the pain, they put me to sleep. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if I if I take that pill like right now, like in half an hour, I will be like snoring here. They knock me down. They really knock me. They are very strong. Oh, uh, okay. But you know, later after the class, yeah, relapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be that would be a relapse. Okay, thank you very much, Ambar, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see. Fernando, hello, Fernando. Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? Um, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Today oh. I was vaccinated. Oh, really? Second really? doses? Second dose. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I am old. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I got it before you. I mean, me la pusieron de que so don't worry about that. <laughs> yes, but I, I have the anticuerpos, ¿cómo se dice? Antiba uh, 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 antibodies, yeah, antibodies. Antibody. How old are you? How old are you, Fernando? I'm um, thirty-seven. And, oh yeah, man, you're younger than me. I'm four years older than you. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm I 41 know. and counting. And counting. That it's yeah. it's never stopped. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm 41 and married, so that's doubles. Well, that gives me extra points. Okay. Um, but how was your day? So did you um, have a, a shift off or no, you went no, no. back to work? Yes, I, I went back to work after the, the, the vaccine. Oh, so that's my wild. day is my day is, was the usual. Normal stuff. Normal stuff. Uh, only I, I take two hours for, for going to the oh, I took sorry in, in pass. I took for going. For going. I, I took two hours for going to uh, clinic. I, actually, <laughs> I took two hours to get vaccinated. To get vaccinated. Uh, how how cold the, the place? The clinic. The clinic. Oh. Yeah, to so the clinic. I mean, you went to the clinic <laughs> to get the vaccine. Okay. Okay, uh, well. In, in Spanish, we, we call Unidad de Salud. <laughs> yeah, but that's like the national clinic. Uh, the national clinic. Oh, okay. Nah. Okay. Is... So well, it's no, good no, thing no. to have you here in class. Don't worry, man. We are going to have fun. So you're going to get relaxed and you will forget about the vaccine. I hate vaccines. <laughs> but it's necessary. Yeah. And this, and this time? It's, it's maybe, or perhaps it's, it's not necessary. I mean, it's necessary. Oh, it is necessary. It is. Oh, yes, necessary. it is necessary, but I think it's, it's more a uh, uh, moral thing. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, my, the, the funny thing in my case is that I would rather spend one hour getting a tattoo instead of getting a vaccine, man. I hate vaccines. I don't know why. I am scared. I'm a cry baby for those things. Well, Fernando, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? I'm tired, teacher. Oh, really? 
Come on, Claudia, you are a teacher. Teachers don't do anything. Yeah. How come you're tired? <laughs> I have a hair. You know, Janita told, me the other, Janita told me the other day, teachers do nothing. In math teachers, they do nothing at all. What did you do I don't, today, I don't send anything, Claudia. <laughs> what did you do today, Claudia? Tell me, tell me. Um, I, I review my email. I said, I said, I think email, reports, um, I, I told Matt, I, oh. I review exam. Check. I, I check exam. Okay, mm -hmm. well, 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 sorry. In that case, it's not check. In that case, is I graded. I graded. I graded. I graded exam. What does that mean? Calificar. Okay. Because I checked, I checked your exam. I just read it and I see, oh, everything is okay. But grade is when you start like put in a grade okay. because <clears throat> what we call in Spanish calificación is grade. Okay. Well, you've been busy. Yes, teacher. As you see, you are grading exams. Hmm. Which exams? Term? No, it's not the second term already, is it? Or by monthly exams. Mm. It's I don't sec understand. Second period or yes, yeah, second period should be right. Third period. Third period. Oh, for high school. Yes. High school, third period. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, interesting. Welcome to the class, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Francisco, hello, Francisco. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good Tell evening. Good to, evening, everybody. You went to work tonight? No, right? No, teacher. Uh, uh, oh, today you had the morning shift, I remember, right? Uh, no, teacher, tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, I I began the morning shift, uh, but uh, in the afternoon, uh, a partner uh, called me uh, in in to cover to cover for him. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I changed the shift. Uh, I. Oh, really? I am going to in the astronaut chief and and he uh, going to in the morning. Okay, so the afternoon shift. What time is it? At the uh, from, two p.m. From two p.m. From uh, two p.m. to ten p.m. Ouch. That's a bad shift. In the in the Saturday, uh, I am going to in the morning shift. <laughs> oh my gosh! So tomorrow you're going to finish working at 10 p.m. So you arrive home at what 11:30? Um, actually, in uh, 11. 11. 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have to and you have to go to work on Saturday. What time? Uh, in the morning. Yeah, what time is that shift? 5 uh, a.m., 6. Uh, I am, in, I take uh, uh, the transport, uh, the company transport uh, at 5 a.m. And I, I start the shift uh, at 6. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a, 
a little bit tiring. A little bit, sure. Well, but the good thing is that tomorrow you are going to oversleep. This yes, uh, uh, probably pro uh, probably uh, in the afternoon I I will take a nap. That's nice. Pro that's probably. Good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Well, thank you, Francisco. Welcome. Thanks, teacher. Hey, Susana, how are you? I find thanks, teacher. I'm sorry, I, I finished my my meeting. <laughs> okay. Oh, you were in the meeting. Oh, no, I yeah, finished. Finish. Okay, it's finished already. Mm -hmm. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? Um, I so so, teacher. I, I later, I later. It was a sad. A little day. bit sad. A little bit sad. Mm -hmm. mm, that's bad. That's bad. Don't be sad. You're in class with me. So in with your classmates, you're going to have reasons to be happy. <laughs> yes, uh, I going. I I am going. Um, my to to work in the office. Oh, really? When? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Or yes. today you went to work? No, to today. Oh, you went to work to the office. Okay, it's a traffic, uh, it's a attend the personal, it's a <laughs> it's stressful. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Well, welcome to the class. You will have fun here, don't worry. Peace have a good day. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, oh, thanks to you. Okay, guys, before we move on, let me get the attendance, please. Please, very please. Let's see, just let me fix this thing properly. Okay, here we go. If it's possible for you, remember to activate your cameras, okay? Ambarelia Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Eduardo Adamir Noyola Brito. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. He's present, he's right here. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Oh, here. Okay. And Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, guys. Let's see. Wilfredo, hello. How are you, my friend? My teacher. How was your day? Mm, it was, it was busy, but you, you look tired today. Yeah, yeah. I I feel so tired, teacher, because it is Thursday. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was a week 
um, so stressful. But it, uh, it was a stressful week. It was a stressful week. Oh, okay. But I'm okay. I'm okay to to learn to learn more. You're ready to learn more. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Today we got uh, a lot of things to do. Actually, right now, much for yourself. Thank you very much, Wilfred. Yeah. We we're gonna start with our activities, guys, because we have a lot to do this day. Let me just get the material ready. Okay. See, I just need to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. We're gonna, if you got your manual handy, we're gonna start working on page number 32. We got an exercise there that it's uh, missing from yesterday. Let me share with you the exercise, guys. And it goes like this. Okay, we got vocabulary practice, human resources positions. We got recruiting coordinator, administrative assistants, benefit specialist, compensation specialist, HR generalist, talent management consultant. Now, the exercise is this. You got here the positions and we're gonna do exercise three that says match the positions in part two with the definitions below. So you need to make a match, okay? So number one goes like this, says, uh, just give me a second, I'm going to take a picture to send it to you, oops. So you can have it there. Let me see, let me see, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'll do it in a different way. Just hold on guys, like this. Okay, I'll send you everything. It's perfect. There we go, we got number one, oversees both the talent review and performance management processes. Number two, develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary action, operations. Number three, works in a company's human resource or personal department. Number four, is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Number five, handles administrative requests and queries from senior managers. Queries, questions, okay? Preguntas, requerimientos. Number six, designs and implements overall recruiting strategy. Okay, guys, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to divide you in small groups. I'm going to give you exactly four minutes and I mean exactly because then we need to do the conversation part, then I will explain a grammar point. So we have a lot to do this night. Okay, let me get the groups ready. Okay, groups are created. Please, let's do the exercise. Jump in, please, guys. Silvia, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Do me a favor. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda, say present, yes. please. 
Present teacher. Thank you. I will send you to a group. We are doing an exercise from the manual. I, I just send you the picture in the group. Okay, so you can check it out. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, you got the invitation already. Okay, thank you. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello, Silvia. Hello, Hello Silvia. Silvia. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Do you stand there, Francisco and Silvia? What do you have to do? Yes, yes. Uh, I am a uh, real the number one. Uh, yeah, we have to do much with a um, with a sentence with the boxes. Yes. Overseas, a uh, teacher. How do you say uh, what uh, the mean of overseas? Supervise. Supervise. Guys, could you please? That. I'm sorry. Could you, could you please send the picture again to the group because I just joined the group. Uh, I shared my my screen, Seven. Okay, thank you. HR generalist. HR. HR. I, I think so. HR generalist. 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 I guess. I guess. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. No. Generalist. Number three. Works in a company's human resource or personal department. Uh, personal department. No is no is no it is HR generalist is phrase number three. Administrative Wait. assistant. Administrative assistant. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Number number four. Number four. Talent management consultant. Uh, is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Benefit specialist. Yes. Yes, benefit specialist. Yeah. Okay, uh, number five. I was administrative requests and queries from senior managers. Administrative assistant. Okay. And number number three. The curing coordinator. The curing coordinator. Okay. And number six, designs and implement our recruiting strategy. This is the last recruiting coordinator. Recruiting coordinator, okay. Yeah, the number five is administrative assistant. And number three. Compensation specialist. Okay. 
work, works in a company, human or service or, or personal department? Yes, I guess. Teacher. Hello, guys. You finished already? Yeah, yes. We are ready. Yeah. That's we are ready That's for ready. for a basketball basketball games with you, teacher. Using your oh. right hand hands. Man, I fell today. Hoy me caí. That's no good. <laughs> <laughs> and it hurts a lot. Okay, we will see. We will see. How did you do, guys? Let me get everybody back okay Just wait for everybody to get back. Sí, son guys are still. Elvia, who else was in your group? ¿Quién más estaba en su grupo? I don't hear you. Marta y Walter. Okay. Oh, Walter is having problems with connection. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is everybody here? Well, supposedly everybody is. Now, let's see. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see what we got here. Let's see, talent management consultant. Talent management consultant. What is the talent management consultant? What are his functions, Maria Alejandra? Boy. Eh... Talent management consultant oversees both the talent review and performance management process. Processes. Okay, perfect. Processes. Perfect, Maria. Oversees both the talent review and performance management processes. Excellent. Each are generalist. Carlos, that's yours. Tell me. Okay. Each her general works in a company's human resource or personal department. Mm -hmm. Number three. Mm -hmm. no. HR generalist develops 
appropriate strategies for clients regarding employees' relations, disciplinary actions, operations. Okay, teacher. Okay, now let's see. Number three, compensation specialists. Let's see, Fernando. Okay, teacher. Uh, works in a company human resource or personal department. Perfect. Thank you. Number four, benefit specialist. That's uh, Amber, benefit specialist. Okay. Give me one second. Is is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Perfect. Number five, administrative assistant. Nicolas. Okay. Administrative assistants. Handle, handles administrative requests and queries from senior manage, managers. Okay, perfect. Handles administrative requests and queries from senior managers. Excellent, excellent. William, number six, recruiting coordinator. Designs and implements overall recruiting strategy. Perfect. Well done, guys, all of you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see. Now we are going to go to the next activity. The next activity is, okay. You are going to talk about somebody else from your company, okay? Another person from your company. But I need you to talk about another person in your company that you know the position of that person, which position does that person have, and which activities that person performs, okay? Like, let's see, like, Janira, tell me about, uh, let's put an example. Do you know what position does um, Roxana have? Um, not really. I know Marta. Okay, tell me about Marta's position. Okay. Um, Marta is um, analyst, uh, GP analyst. Okay. Uh, she is in charge of um, I don't know who to say dar de alta teacher. Um, habilitar usuarios en el sistema. Habilitate users um, in the system. It is not only ability because she creates user and give permission. Oh. Okay, perfect. Just that. You see, you say the name of the person, the position, and the activities that person performs. How are you going to do it? Easy. Because, I mean, it's complex to talk about some positions of people in our job because, I mean, some things are very delicate, processes and everything. So what we are going to do is this. You're going to ask your classmate, okay, your full name, your position, your activities, okay? And I'm going to ask you about your classmates' positions, okay? Okay. Hey, guys, groups are ready. Let's jump in. Hey, welcome, Roxana.
There you go. Roxana is a little bit sick. Okay. Yes, I know. And then so, I I make a loan. I ask my uh, myself. <laughs> nope. I ask you. Okay. No. What you are going to do is this. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's see, Roxana. I just need you, if it's possible, to say present, please. Present. Roxana, Elizabeth Alcencio de Mejia. Roxana, Ivet, present. Roxana, Lizeth, no present. Okay, I said Ivet. <laughs> Come on. Yes, he said Ivet. I, I can see. Okay. Present, teacher. Okay, okay. Well, they're calling me. I'll be back. If not, think about somebody else from your company, okay, Jenny? Okay. If Roxana doesn't want to work with you. No, Roxana, uh, we understand she, your she, da, she doesn't work, teacher. And then it's easy to... Okay, <laughs> to describe. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Perfect. And, yeah. Very cool. And, uh, uh, teacher. In, yes. Yes, uh, I have a doubt. A doubt, doubt, a doubt. Doubt, doubt. Doubt. I have a doubt. Uh, the last part is responsibilities. Yep. You okay. ask him, okay, Nicolas, you need to tell him. Uh, well, your name is easy, Nicolas Mendez. Yeah. Your position and responsibilities. With two is okay. 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 Thank I'm you. Good. Good sure. You're welcome, we, guys. We are in the way. We are in the way. <laughs> excellent, excellent. What about you, Sylvia? No, she, other... she does nothing. Sylvia is like, what? I work a lot. I work hard. <laughs> yes. Remember, just the name, job position, and Two or three activities is okay. 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 Uh, Silvia, um, what is your position, Silvia? Uh, but the, is the position of my coworker, right? No, yes. no. Oh, or mine. You are going you, to say yours. 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 Because ah. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I mean, it would be like, remember that the video, I'm sorry, I need to explain something. Okay, that's great. Okay. Uh, my position in the company is uh, I am a receptionist. Um, some of my responsibilities. Uh, Daniel. So maybe can be uh, the second one. The recruiting coordinator is in charge okay. to seek the. Well, okay, remember, guys, what you're going to do is this. You're going to tell your classmate, your name, your job position, and two or three activities that you perform. Like this, like uh, I am Douglas Arevalo, I am an English teacher, I have to prepare classes, I have to grade exams, I have to check homeworks. Simple, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay, Daniel. What what okay. position do you have in your home? Recruiting coordinator perform aptitude tests. Okay. For, Hello, guys. Hello. For Hello. new stuff. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello Remember, teacher. the activity we are doing right now is this. You say your name. You say. Uh, your job position and you tell your classmate two or three activities that you perform, okay? Mm. Activities like this, Jose is like, hi, I am Douglas Arevalo, I am uh. an English teacher, I have to prepare classes every day and I have to check homeworks, I have to grade exams. Okay. Okay, I, I get it. Okay, perfect. Hello, teacher. 
Hello, Francisco looks at everybody's uh, human body, you know. Francisco mete toda la gente así en los rayos X. <laughs> ya, ya no pasó, teacher, ya no pasó, pero al principio era. <laughs> what? You got a person in that? Yes, uh, is, is, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, bueno, en español no se puede, definitivamente no se puede, pero el problema fue de que eh, era un bus internacional y las personas se habían dormido. Entonces, oh. pues, so when they didn't notice, no se dieron cuenta. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. It's, it's better. Uh, uh, the, how do you say que no se dieron cuenta, teacher? Yeah, it's best. It's best. They didn't the best. Well, well, you know, the exposure to x-rays at that level is not that much for uh, the person. Realmente, si yes. se pone uno a rayos X un ratito, un momentito, no es tan problemático. I mean, it's a problem in your case if you don't follow procedures and if you don't wear protection. Yes, uh, but uh, the equipment uh, have a uh, money, money, uh, how do you say, dispositivos, teacher? Uh, gadgets. Gadgets. Uh, 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 the equipment have a uh, money gadget uh, for reduce the exposition. Exposure. Uh, no, sorry, exposure. exposure. Yeah, the exposure, sure. exposure, exposure. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me get you the exact pronunciation, okay? Okay. Because it's not a word that I use every day. Exposure, exposure. That's the word, that's the way. Exposure. Exposure. Teacher, how do you say cabina? Hold on, that I'm looking for. Uh, just give me a second. Dispositivo, device. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. And the other one that we are looking for is, uh, you just told me one word. Palabra me dijo hace un momento. Cabina. Okay. Ooh. That's uh, like, a, eso es como el puesto de trabajo, ¿verdad? Um, yes. Yeah, but it's the it's a closed space. Yes, it's a right? close a closed space uh, where the equipment is uh, operate. Boot. Boot. Oh, okay, teacher. Uh, or the you can say is... the operating the operating cabin or the operating booth. Oh, okay, the operating cabin. Uh, uh, it uh, has a. Uh, uh, how do you say plomo teacher in English? And that's Leo. Yeah, the hammer. Yeah, Leo. Oh, iron. Oh, yeah, Leo. Leo. Yeah, it was right. And you're getting me with my vocabulary. Good thing is that I remember <laughs> that one. Bueno, que me acordé de esa Leo. Leo. <laughs> the metal, right? Yes, the metal. Yeah, that's lead. 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 Can you see in the chat? Lead. Lead. Okay. Actually, that, that word, that word is also a verb. También es un verbo esa palabra y es dirigir. Ah, okay. Uh, the the operator Kevin, uh, it has a a lay plate around. Oh, that's cool. You are protected. In, in that, uh, reduce the exposure. Yeah, because I mean, ooh, but I mean, the, the, the radiation is a little bit bad for your health. <laughs> this is, I guess. Uh, but the, the company uh, has many years operating, operating uh, this equipment in, uh, around the, the world. And yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine that it's not, I mean, they got all the protection for everybody and there's a, a protocol, I imagine. Yes, teacher. And 
but uh, I uh, I have a how do you say siempre tengo cuidado teacher <laughs> I am always careful okay teacher and but uh, I I I always careful yeah because I mean oof, it's very dangerous okay guys hurry up we are almost done okay teacher Okay, now let's bring everybody back. Okay, Fernando, Fernando, who was your partner? My partner was Nicolas Mendez. Okay, tell me about Nicolas. Nicolas Mendez. Okay, I review my notes. Sorry. Sorry, I lost. <laughs> I lost it. Oh, okay, uh, Nicolas Mendez. Okay, full name, Nicolas Mendez. Position, technician in water. And a water technician, a water technician. Oh, okay. Water technician, water technician, okay. Uh, okay, uh, responsibilities. One, teach to, teach to people of rural community in topics of water and natural resources. Okay, rural, rural. Rural, yes, it's natural, natural. Natural resources, okay, and two, uh, Prepare technician documents in topics of water, natural resources, and local governments. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's see, Maria, Alejandra, tell me, who was your partner? Hi, sorry. <laughs> and my partner is William. Okay, tell me about William. William, the position uh, is a ship of warehouse. And okay. the activities of responsibilities are meeting with the group uh, at the start of the day, uh, create the documents for from sales area to they know when the inventor is. I don't know. Inventory. Inventory is and realize and inspect and inspect the old machines in the company uh, for verif verify the conditions. Okay, for verifying or for verifying. Say, remember, for mm -hmm. the verb in ing. Uh -huh. If not, you can say to verify. Ah, uh -huh. to verify the condition, the condition. Okay. And check all facturas, teacher. How do you say? Invoice. Invoices. Oh. Yes. Invoice. Invoices. Check all the uh, invoice for the sales to yesterday. All okay. the days. Okay. <laughs> check the previous day uh, invoices. Previous day invoices. Ah, okay. Invoices and um, cuadrar. <laughs> match. And um, match uh, the two. Lo que entregan. El, ah, no sé. <laughs> the deliveries with the. Uh -huh, the deliveries with them. Uh, the compare or the invoices. Um, okay. The same. The invoices with the deliveries. Yes, I uh -huh. understand you. Uh -huh. like that? Okay, perfect. Perfect. It was very well done. Carlos, who was your partner? Okay, teacher, my partner is uh, Amber. Okay, tell me about Amber. Amber. Uh, 
I understand the exercise in a, in a, is a, was a talk about another person in another department, for example. Okay, if you got we, somebody else, if yes, you got somebody else, uh, tell me, tell me. Uh, Amber, tell me about, uh, or tell, tell me about Maria's. Maria, okay, is, uh, Maria has a, a seller like Amber, and okay. she 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 sell uh, insurance insurance by insurance uh, vehicle or automobile vehicles no vehicles vehicles insurance vehicle. Um, policies, the, policies. That, the, yes, policies. Yeah. Activities like um, follow database in CRM and hotspots. It's the system in they. She has to uh, fill the the register when, when the information. She, yes, register the information. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Kevin. Okay, Susana, who was your partner? Um, my partner um, was, was oh, where, Sylvia? where Sylvia and Marta. Okay, tell me about, uh, hmm, tell me about Sylvia. Um, Sylvia uh, talking um, for receptionist. Okay. And at uh, your responsibility is attend uh, the customer. Uh, okay. Uh, in experience in hotel and restaurant. Okay, and perfect. Make service at customer specific. Okay. Hair responsibilities. Hair. 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 Okay, let's see. I still got time for. Two more. Let's see, Daniel. Daniel, please tell me who was your partner. My partner was Wilfredo. Okay, tell me about Wilfredo. He is a super supervisor. He's okay. in charge to supervise the production every day. He checked the quality and he housekeeping in his uh, production area. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you. Very concise. Excellent. Mr. Jose Osorio, what about you? Who was your partner? Uh, my partner is Elvia Beltran. Okay, tell me about Elvia. Uh, she told me he's an analyst. Uh, Elvia Beltran is a financial analyst and she supports financial management to keep control of budgets and financial indicators. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Jose. Thanks to you, teacher. Okay, let's see. And I got time for Janira. Tell me, who, are you, who was your partner? Uh, oh, yeah, partner I remember. Yeah, it's going to be Walter. fast. <laughs> okay, no, tell me about really. Walter. Was Walter. Uh, Walter oh. is a design assist. Okay, uh, designer he, assistant, assistant. An assistant, assistant. He designed template that another use. Also, template. His template. Also, he drive a coil. And he is a warehouse manager. Besides, okay. he is in charge of inventory of trip and zipper. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks to all of you. But due to the time, uh, we'll jump to the next activity, okay? But I was checking the groups, some groups, and you were doing okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. We go to the next activity. And the next activity is a small question. I'm going to ask some of you. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm, let me see, who am I going to ask? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sylvia, tell me. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. Hello, tell me, Sylvia, do you attend uh, trainings regularly? 
Uh, yes, I attend trainings regular. Okay, how often are trainings scheduled in your company? Um, maybe every three months. Okay, what are those yes. trainings related to? Uh, we have trainings about customer service, about motivational, uh, about motivation, um, and how to deal with clients. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Yes, you're welcome. What about you, Marta? Do you attend trainings regularly? No more. Uh, Sometimes uh, we receive training about the security for okay. the company or okay. automis, autom how do you say automatization the processes? Automa uh, out automized processes. Automized process. Uh, oh, is really? that? Yes. Very technical. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's see, what about you, Wilfredo? Do you have to attend trainings regularly? Yes, sir. Um, How maybe, regularly do you attend trainings? Yeah, every every month. Uh, Sometimes we were having physical training, for example. The last one was about leadership. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Claudia, what about you? Do you attend trainings regularly? No, it's rarely. Okay, rarely. And when do you attend trainings? What are those trainings about? Um, the use of, of technology. And, uh, okay. Teaching tools. Tools, tools. Tool. Okay, teaching tools. Okay, so you're working with platforms. Yes, yes. Okay, um, tell me. Which platforms are you been have you been training on? Um Socrative, Meet, um, Classroom. Kahoot. Okay. What and about Moodle? Contact. So you've been like very trained in those areas. Thank you very much, Claudia. Let's okay. see. Fer Fernando, I'm interested. You work in the IT area. Tell me, do you attend uh, meetings regularly? Uh, Officially, I mean trainings, yeah. trainings, trainings. <laughs> Extra officially, always I, I, I attend training in personal. I take course, uh, but personal course. Okay, what are they about? Sorry? What are those trainings about? Which areas? Uh, which area? Um, I, I took, recently I took a, a course about uh, Laravel, it's it's a framework, it's a framework tool for development in PHP. Okay, excellent. My, my, my company always offers to the employees uh, talks or formaciones. Yeah, talks, talks or trainings. Talks or training, but uh, always it's, it's about uh, personal development. Okay, interesting. Well, thank you very much, Fernando. What about you, Shanira? Well, you in the, have... yes, yes, tell me. In the office, uh, like, like Marta, only about security information, but personal, I take a, a course in a platform. Uh, do you know Platzi? I take a uh, course in Platzi. Now Very I'm taking uh, a course about learning online. They take a uh, uh, techniques for techniques. techniques for 
for learning more fast and for faster learning for faster learning and i taking another about the artificial intelligence 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 oh really it cool yeah but some uh very very interesting but really is about um business information it's about uh big data okay yeah i got you i got you i got you i got you i'm very curious so i whenever i get a information about technical stuff i get to read it at least at least <laughs> okay. my problem is time so in my case, when I take trainings, usually they are programmed by it, by one of my workplaces. Yeah, and when you read a technical uh, article or article article, 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 technician, no, technician technical technician, ar technical article, Term technical article, you found uh, some word that you don't know and then you found this and you found more and more and more and more and more yeah it's i mean if you are really into it i mean you get hooked fast uh, yes but some word is not easy to, to understand to understand yes yeah that happens that happens that happens to me i mean when i'm like trying to to learn something like uh it's not your area yeah it's, it's like when i learned how to work with access for example i mean i didn't know nothing about access and there was a lot of a lot of tech uh, vocabulary so i was like looking for the for the meaning of the vocabulary and jumping from one point to another but it's cool yes it's cool you you got uh more vocabulary yeah well thank you very much Janina. Okay, good, sir. Okay, let's see. And the last one, because I just have one more minute. Let's see, Nicolas, tell me, what about you? You work with water. Tell me, do you attend trainings? In my, in my, in my work, uh, we, we practice uh, topics. Uh, our, our topics are, the topics are of Mm, eh, motores, eh, motores y bombas. Engines and pumps. Engines and bombs. Okay, for, hold, on, hold, on. Eh, hold on. I'm going to text it for you. Engines and pumps. We are talking about water pumps, right? Engines and pumps. Uh, and Pop, pop, pump, pop. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm pop. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. Perdón, yo me equivoqué. Pumps. Okay, and engine and pumps. Uh, other, other, other topics are uh, the um, electrician, electrician uh, for for pumps. Uh, the level of of energy necessary for a function the pumps. Okay, for the functioning of pumps. Okay, yeah. How many HPs are your pumps? How many? Uh, HPs. The, the, the horsepower? Yes, horsepower, HP. Okay, how many, how many HPs? Uh, sorry. Oof is 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 our different HP. For example, a uh, five, a uh, one hundred, one one hundred HP or two hundred HP is 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 invariable. It's variable. It varies. It varies. It varies. It varies. Yeah. Other topics of 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 the the the, the training are, uh, for example, the level of 
the level of forest in the mountain, uh, the, the level forest of the mountain, and the level, the, the water in the river, and the aquiferos. Uh, uh, wells. Sub, aquiferos subterraneos, wells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand you because you need to measure the, the, the quantity of water related to the to the quantity to the demand demand like, yes for the people then, or the industry cal, tienen que calcular caudal de acuerdo a la demanda right yes for the people industry and the ecosystems and the is the other 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 function for example the farms farms in the in the others okay well, in the others, in, among others among others among among others yeah it's it's actually a very interesting topic yes it's necessary it's necessary actually uh, if, for example the change climate change climate or climate change climate climate change is uh team uh, on on the people no reacts no, no is reacting no it's is not reacting. reacting it's not reacting is not react no is not reactive well i people are not reacting people are not reacting yes people are are not react React. Yeah, that's reacting, reacting. Reacting. Okay, yeah, well, thank you very much, Nicolas. Okay, teacher. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Now, why am I talking about this? ¿Y por qué estamos hablando de esto? Okay, in your manuals, we are gonna go to page number 33. And in page number 33, we got a very, very small conversation that we are going to practice fast. You're going to have just two minutes for practicing the conversation. I'm going to divide you in groups, but first I'm going to share the conversation with you guys. Let me see. There you go. This is the conversation and let me get it for you, the picture for some of you. Okay, let's see, let's see. And let's do it. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, I repeat. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, I will repeat one last time. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures 
to request training. I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, Okie dokie, guys. So let's see. Let me check out the groups. Okay, some groups are going to be two and just uh, two groups are going to be three. Let's do it. Let's jump in. Two minutes. Hurry up. Soy nuevo. Okay. Ese señor Hello. se me queda bien. Hello, new girl. Hello. Hi, teacher. Welcome. I am the, the same class. girl. I am the same. I, just, I am Maria. As usual. No, yesterday you were not Maria. Yesterday uh, you were Mary. <laughs> Okay, practice, practice, just two minutes. Okay. okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me let me explain this to you. First. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fernando. First. 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 Like that. And first. mention the T, the T at the end. First. 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 Perfect. Okay. First. Thank you, teacher. First. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nicholas. Good morning. Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Know the procedure to request training? And you, I'm I don't, sir. And me? <laughs> Maria Luisa, okay. they didn't know you were here. Oh, <laughs> Maria, you don't I'm know Maria sorry, Luisa. didn't check that spring. <laughs> Maria, yeah. uh, <laughs> let's Maria, do it. You know, Maria. Will Hi. you start, Maria? Mm. Hi. Okay. Okay. Se me hizo. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request? Procedures.
What's your drinking, Maria? What's that? Is a licuado, blending? No. It's a juice. It's a juice, but it's a freezing uh, fruit. Okay, cool. <laughs> and have a peach, uh, strawberries, and pineapple, maybe like this. The box uh, sell in the price mark. <laughs> okay. okay. As Interesting, very interesting. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, Maria, now that you're here, you and William. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Just give me a second, guys. And the one who's going to start is William. William, you start. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of the, our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am free. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Perfect. Thank you very much. Carlos Antonio and Fernando. Carlos, you'll start. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, 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 first. Perfect. Shanira and Nicolas, Nicolas, you'll start. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part or you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures procedures to request training? I'm afraid yes. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, okay, procedures, Nicholas. Procedures. Procedures. Thank you. Pro procedures. Yep. Procedures. Yes. yes. Pro Excellent. Procedures. Excellent. LBA and Wilfredo. Wilfredo, you'll start, please. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Procedures. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have, ju I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am a friend. I don't, sir. Okay. Let me explain this to you first. Okay, I am afraid. I afraid. don't, sir. Afraid, afraid. Afraid. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see who's gonna be next. Uh, Walter and Susanna. Yes, Walter, you'll start, please. Walter. Good morning. This is 
Sorry, Walter, I think you're having problems with connection because we don't hear you properly. Hello, hello. The if is the first. Excuse me, teacher. We will, hello. We will, okay, now you can. we can hear you. Please repeat, okay. Walter. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part uh, of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request driving? I am afraid. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, our, our, Walter, our. Our, our. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, Jose Osorio and <coughs> Silvia. Jose, you'll start. Good morning, Mr. Perez. Excuse me, good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First. Perfect, both of you, excellent. Maria Luisa and Marta. Marta, you'll start. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Maria Luisa. Oops, I think she's not here. So let's see. Ahorita. Okay, perfect. Repeat again, Marta. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Okay. Uh, ahorita, ahorita. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Es que estoy en, estoy en mi cel. Look. Uh, ya se los compartí acá. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Pero no, no me aparece. Mm. A ver. No me aparece. I, I am sharing in Zoom. Estoy compartiendo en Zoom. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, don't worry, Marita. You can do it. Uh, hello, Mr. Perez. Excuse me? Yes, continue. Okay. Se me vuelve a perder esta cosa. Okay, okay. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I ha I just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks. Thanks, Alexir. You're welcome. Do you know that procedure to request training? I am afraid. I don't see. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, let's see, Marie. Uh, I have just come in. I am afraid I don't, sir. I am afraid. Afraid. Af afraid. 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 
Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Claudia. Who hasn't participated, guys? Can you not participate? There's Claudia Me. and Ambar. Okay, perfect. Ambar. You and Claudia. Ambar, you'll okay. start. Okay. Give me one second, please. Do you want me to chair? Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Now, let me share with you Here's something that I have here. Okay, let's see. This is important. Simple present and present progressive. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, you remember that the simple present it ha helps to express habits, routines, and truths. I always brush my teeth, that's a habit. Joaquin plays soccer every day. Plays, remember, third person, that's a routine. Dogs bark, that's a truth. And they bite also. Now, how do you structure simple present? Subject plus verb in present, form plus complement. Camila teaches English in the school. Aldo studies every day. Herson study after school. Do not forget the S in she, he, or it. The third person of the singular always add the S at the end of the verb, okay? Now, let's see. Alberts of frequency are those words that help us tell us how regularly we do something. We got always, usually, frequently, often, sometimes, occasionally, rarely, seldom, hardly ever, never. Okay, we already know the Alberts of frequency. We were working with them last week. They're easy to see. And then we have the present progressive. It helps to express an action that is happening at the moment of speaking, right now. I am teaching English right now. You are learning English at the moment. She's playing with her dog now. Okay, present progressive. Helps to express an action that is happening at the moment of speaking. But also we use it to express uh, what we call an ongoing action, okay? Like, uh, let's see, you can tell me, oh, well, I am taking a training about um, a new platform, Danita tells me. I am taking a training about a new platform, but that is not happening in this moment because right now she's in class, in English class, okay? But it's happening in this period of time. She started perhaps one week ago, she will finish in two, three weeks, okay? So it's an ongoing action. The action is happening in this, in a period of time, in a specific period of time. It will be started, it will finish soon. So we use the present continues to also express something that is ongoing. Like you guys are taking the beginner's six module, right? You're taking beginner's six module. Now, if I say you're taking beginner's six module, uh, that, that is happening right now, but it will happen tomorrow and next week and it will finish in August, right? August the second, if I'm not mistaken. So that's an ongoing situation. It is happening right now because right now we are in class, I am teaching. But I imagine that uh, tomorrow morning 
I talked to a friend and they asked me, hey, what, are you teaching? And I'm like, yeah, I am teaching beginners six. But if I talk to my friend tomorrow morning, I mean, I teach this course at night, right? Like in negative, look, uh, I am not going to the school right now because of my hand. I am not going, but right now it's at night. I usually go to the school during the day. Okay, I'm talking about a period of time. It will finish soon, yes, because the doctor will approve me to go back to work. You see, is it clear? How do we use it for ongoing actions? Yes, no, a little bit. Yes, teacher. For me, yes, teacher. yes. Okay. For if there's any doubt, I will explain just for a moment in Spanish. Okay. Para que no nos queden dudas de nada, lo explicaré un poquito en español. Present continuous. Expresa algo que está pasando en este momento. I am teaching English right now. Okay. Uh, I am going to therapies. Estoy yendo a terapias. Eso no está pasando en este momento. I have a schedule in the afternoon, but it's an ongoing action. Es algo que está sucediendo en un periodo de tiempo limitado. Okay. I am taking a training. Okay. Or like uh, I am supervising a project. Es un tiempo limitado. It's not something that is going to happen all the time. It's just for a period of time. Okay. Like uh, uh, Walter tells me, hey, I am having problems with internet. Okay. That's not just in this moment. It's like uh, it's been happening for two, three classes for him. Okay. So that's what we express. Now let's go back to check out the structure. Vamos a revisar la estructura. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We are here. Okay, how do we form the present progressive or present continuum? Subject plus the verb to be plus the verb I, the verb with in the ing form. The verb to be, remember, is our am. That's the conjugation. So, Jose Faiz is that in English. You are singing a song. They are dancing salsa right now. Affirmative, this is affirmative form, okay? Look, subject, the auxiliary be, the auxiliary, the verb to be, and the main verb in ing form, singing, studying, dancing. Now, for the, we got three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. The affirmative, remember, she's watching TV. Subject, auxiliary, verb in ing, complement. Negative, my mom is not. We got the not, the negation, after the verb, the auxiliary verb, and before the main verb. And remember, you can use contractions. My mom isn't cooking. My friends aren't cooking. Interrogative, are they eating pasta? Is she eating pasta? In the interrogative form, we place the auxiliary right at the beginning. Any question up to now? Preguntas? No? Okay. It's okay. Perfect. So let's remember, when we use the simple present tense, it's habits, routines, Facts or truth, hechos o verdades, okay? That's simple present tense. Now, present continuous. Something that is happening right in this moment or ongoing actions, okay? In a limited period of time, including the today, okay? Are we clear up to here? Vamos bien hasta acá? Yes, okay, yes. perfect guys. Wow, we had a lot to do today. It was cool. I mean, we were jumping from activity to activity. That's great. That's great. Thank sure. you for bearing with me. Gracias por soportarme. Yes, Wilfredo? Will you share with us, please? The presentation? Yeah, please. 
Uh, don't worry. I'll send it after the class. Yeah. Don't worry. Thank you, teacher. No, no, no problem. No problem. My pleasure, guys. Now, just let me, before I say goodbye, I need to take attendance one last time. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Present teacher. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Mendez, Menéndez Aguilar. And Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Hey guys, thank you very much. Really appreciated you being here. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, William, hello, how are you? Very good. Okay, let's see, William. Well, today we got the one-on-one -on -one session. Tell me, is there perhaps any topic that you don't feel like quite clear? You would like me to explain again to you? Le gustaría que le explicase, no? Me gustaría un resumen de the digamos, una semana o dos. No okay, let's see. What have we been working with? ¿Qué hemos estado hablando? Well, actually, this, this week has been mostly about vocabulary. Esta semana ha sido más que todo enfocada al vocabulario. Right? Yes. And vocabulary, well, the only way you will get vocabulary is through reviewing and reviewing. La mejor manera de obtener vocabulario es repasar y repasar. I mean, read it and read it. And perhaps mark special words. Márqueme palabras especiales que, que siente usted que le cuesta recordar. Eh, one activity that you could do perhaps is like if you get a new word. Si usted encuentra una palabra nueva. Eh, get the meaning. Buscar el significado. And try to put it into more than one sentence along the day. En el día trate de hacer una o dos oraciones en su mente, ¿ok? Using the word, utilizando esa palabra. Or if you want, you get extra vocabulary like that, eh, write them sentences and send them to me. Puedes escribirlas y enviármelas and I can help you checking them out, ¿ok? That's for working with, with vocabulary. Grammatically, let me see. Gramática que hemos visto. Well, uh, today's presentation is going to help you a lot because it, we were working with... Uh, Present continuous, eh, I'm sorry, simple present. La presentación de ahora le podría ayudar mucho para ese repaso. Porque hemos estado viendo gramaticalmente, hemos visto eh, presente simple. Hemos visto adverbios de frecuencia. Van incluidos en la presentación de ahora. And also eh, present continuous. Simple present, un repaso gramatical de lo que hemos visto. Simple present, remember, it's used to express habits, routines, or facts. 
lo utilizamos para expresar hábitos, rutinas o hechos o verdades, que es lo mismo. Like, my name is Douglas. That's a fact. Ese es un hecho. Right? Your name is William. Eso es un hecho. Presente simple. Eh, what else? I work as a teacher. Yo trabajo como profesor. A fact. Un hecho. Simple. Okay? You are in English class. Usted está en clase de inglés. Hecho. Routines. Uh, okay. I go to sleep around midnight every day. Yo voy a la cama alrededor de la medianoche. Todos los días. That's a routine. Habit. Un hábito. I go to sleep very late. Yo me duermo muy tarde. Es un hábito que tengo. I brush my teeth three times a day. Me cepillo los dientes tres veces al día. A habit. Okay? I'm sorry, a routine. Una rutina. Cuando menciono el momento, estoy hablando de rutinas. Okay? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? Ya, yes, sí. Una, una... Okay. Dice que algo yes. que me pasa, que a veces, digamos, yo estudio, trato de ver lo que usted dice por vocabulario, ¿no? Por ejemplo, en estos días ya me queda un poco de tiempo, trato de ver. El detalle que a veces ya en las clases ya como que se me van las palabras. No problem, no problem. Es normal. Es pretty normal. The good thing is this. Si usted las repasa, mire, las palabras están ahí. Lo que pasa es que con el paso del tiempo y mientras más familiarizado esté, Mientras más esté conectado a las clases. I mean, these are intensive courses. Estos son cursos intensivos. Entonces, usted pasa en contacto con el idioma dos horas a diario en clase. I mean, regular courses, regular English courses are like four or five hours a week. Son regulares, son de cuatro o cinco horas a la semana. This is very intensive. You got ten hours a week. Aquí tiene diez horas a la semana. And the longer you stay in contact with the language, Mientras más tiempo pasa en contacto con el idioma, you will get more. Something that perhaps you haven't noticed, but you could realize, algo que quizás no notado, pero que se puede dar cuenta, is this. Um, I am sure that at the beginning, it was a little bit harder for you to understand me. Right? And now, when I am speaking in English, you understand a little bit more. Al inicio le costaba un poquito más entenderme, ¿no? Y ahora, yeah. you get more vocabulary when I am speaking. Because I ask you, porque le pregunto, and you react. And sometimes, I mean, you are not the first that I ask to. A veces no es el primero que le pregunto. But when you listen to your classmates answering to my questions, you get the idea of what you're going to ask, to answer. Usted, cuando yo le pregunto a su compañero, usted toma la idea y luego me contesta, right? Eso significa que el listening, esa es una habilidad, se llama listening comprehension. Es, es escuchar y comprender. Esa habilidad va mejorando. But it's a process. Es un proceso. And I mean, don't feel frustrated if you feel, a veces se nos vuelve un poquito frustrante cuando vemos que hay compañeros que van, uff, súper adelantados. Y a veces sentimos que mm, nos está costando. It's normal. I mean, in any area, en cualquier área pues, sucede eso. Hay unos que van volando y vemos otros que vamos lentos. La constancia es importante. Something that you have that is awesome is that you are always on time, every day for classes. Algo que usted hace que es buenísimo, que todos los días está en clase constante. That's very important. The fact that you ask me whenever you got a doubt. El hecho de que me pregunte cada vez que tiene una duda. That's very good. Eso es bueno. Cuando tenga la duda, pregunte. And now, when you are speaking, I mean, participate the most. Participe siempre, cada vez que pueda. Eh, está la opción de levantar la mano. Dentro de las opciones ahí le aparece levantar la mano. Si tiene una duda, usted la da y yo le atiendo. ¿Ok? La idea es, cualquier duda, yo le puedo ayudar. Eh, eso es una cuestión de práctica. Así que no se vaya a frustrar porque es práctica nada más. Y lo que usted me dice, sí, es que yo entiendo y veo el vocabulario y yo repaso, pero cuando ya estoy en la clase como que se me va la palabra. No worry, that happens. 
¿Cuántas veces no me ha visto a mí buscando una palabra? Because I forget them. La olvido, I mean, that happens to all of us. Nos pasa a todos. In my case, it happens because there's some vocabulary that I don't regularly use. Hay mucho vocabulario que no uso regularmente. And the same is happening to you. Y le está pasando lo mismo. Pues está agarrando el vocabulario, pero como no lo usa muy a menudo, a la hora que lo quiere usar, como que se le escapó la palabra. Y luego dice, oh, this word was it. Y luego usted dice, esta era la palabra que quería decir. Right? Eso nos pasa, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ok, entonces, don't worry. El ejercicio que le recomendaría es, lea, marque solo la palabra que no comprende completamente. Hay palabras que usted va leyendo, perhaps in the book, que tal vez va leyendo en el libro y usted dice, ok, hey, esta palabra uh, no la recuerdo, pero ya la vio, ya la usamos en una ocasión, esa no. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando la vean en uno o dos contextos más adelante, le va a regresar a su mente. O tal vez cuando vea la palabra clave, la que de verdad no conoce nunca, comprenda la oración completa. El error que sí trate de evitar es eso, de querer traducir palabra por palabra. Eso nos vuelve más lentos. Y eso sí le va a afectar a la hora del speaking. Si comenzamos a buscar palabra por palabra, buscar en el traductor que me traduzca toda una oración, eso nos vuelve más lentos. Busque palabras, una, dos, palabras claves, palabras que nunca ha visto, que no comprende cómo encajan en la oración, pero no buscar todas las palabras porque eso sí nos vuelve más lentos. And that's going to affect you. Y eso sí le va a afectar. Something else that you can do, algo más que puedo hacer es esto, mire, le voy a mostrar algo, solo déjenme ordenarlo acá porque lo necesitamos clarito, clarito. La, la dinámica que tiene, teacher, es bien, es bastante completa. El, en el anterior yo proyecto que estuve hace dos años y por eso me metieron a este nivel porque yo estuve ahí, pero como no pude continuar por el cambio de, de, de trabajo, este, me quedé en intermedio y hoy que volví a aplicar, yo, yo pedí que fuera desde el principio, beginning pero no me la aceptaron por lo mismo que ya había estudiado. Entonces, pero yo como no lo practiqué, hay practice, se me olvidó. Entonces, por eso me está costando. No worry, no worry. I mean, ya volverán esas palabras y algunas estructuras. Ahora, ¿puede ver lo que le estoy compartiendo? Ya, yes, teacher. Ok, bueno, aquí estamos en la plataforma. Este es el curso, ¿verdad? ¿Sí le aparece a usted? Sí, sí, claro. Ok. Mire, aquí en Centro de Ayuda se viene usted a donde dice Centro de Ayuda. ¿Ve dónde estoy abajo? Yes. Ok. You come here. Luego se viene aquí abajo. Mire. Y aquí abajo nos aparece Recursos Académicos. Aquí usted va a encontrar Grammar, Ejercicios de Pronunciation, Vocabulary. Ok. Everyday activities, personal care products, household cleaning and laundry, outside the home, the apartment building. ¿Qué encuentra usted? Archivos solo de vocabulario. Right? And that can be helpful for you. Esto también podría ayudarle. You can access to this material. It's in the platform. Eso no lo sabía yo, esa. This part. Okay, do you want me to show it again to you or quiere que se lo muestre de nuevo o si se acuerda del caminito? Ya lo recuerdo. Okay, perfect. Para eso sí, rápidamente. Okay, right. mire, ahí tenemos ya un recurso extra que puedo utilizar. Sí. Como le decía este, anteriormente, lo más que hacían eran cuatro horas a la semana. Oh, y yeah. aquí es bastante intenso y es lo que me gusta. Fíjense que yo este, me cuesta hablar, yo, yo lo, lo reconozco, y, pero quiero mejorar en eso, entonces, pero por eso le agradezco las oportunidades que hay, porque trata como de ir involucrando a uno, aunque sea poquito a poquito, ahí vamos a ir manteniendo. No se preocupe, la idea es esa, 
Espero haber sido de ayuda, Mr. Espero que les haya quedado claro y cualquier duda, pues ya sabe. Mándeme un mensaje, ahí estoy disponible todo el tiempo. Gracias, Chara. No, me thanks me to you. Me agradezco su tiempo. No, no problem. We are here to help. Estamos para ayudarnos. Cualquier duda, ya sabe, mándeme un mensajito. Puede ser que no le conteste inmediatamente, pero I will do it. Okay. Perfect, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night.